Hi, I'm Evelina. I'm CEO and co-founder of Ilia Pharma. We're developing next-generation biologics to treat wounds in skin and mucosa. We have a technology platform and we advance uh, one topical drug candidates in two different wound segments and two uh, candidates as oral formulations in different GI indications, including inflammatory bowel disease. So we have a lactic acid bacteria that we've genetically engineered to produce a human chemokine well described in ischemic and regenerative processes. So this is our API and we can freeze dry this and have good stability. Just prior use, uh, it's resuscitated and then added to wounds in a liquid form. And well in the wound, the bacteria live for about one hour and there produce the chemokine directly to the wound surface. And this is where we really differentiate from traditional biologics because this is a very cost efficient way of delivering chemokines to wounds and it works very well. When we get a wound, uh, a certain set of immune cells are recognizing this being recruited and drive the healing process. And what we do is just to change the microenvironment very locally in the wound bed and thus more and even further specialized immune cells are recruited and accelerate the healing. So very simplified, uh, we make the body think that the wound is much larger than it really is and we published the full mechanism of action. We've done a thorough non-clinical development in different models in mice, pigs and human tissues. And throughout we see acceleration of healing and reduction of scarring. We're currently running a first in human clinical trial in healthy volunteers. And we took a strategic decision quite early on in the, in the development that we wanted to have a large uh, trial with clear data. So this is a randomized uh, placebo control and double-blinded trial. It's run at one phase one unit. And uh, the primary endpoints are, of course, safety and local tolerability. But we have been able to include a large set of secondary and exploratory endpoints looking into further safety and mechanism of action, as well as different wound healing and scarring parameters. So we have finished a single dose part in three different cohorts with four subjects in each cohort. And this is fully reported. We are currently uh, on the last cohort in a multi-dose part where the subjects receive treatment for three weeks time. And this is to illustrate just a total number of subjects. And for each subject, we collect more than 600 different types of images to be able to do quantitative analysis of multiple parameters. So after the phase one trial, uh, this naturally divides into two tracks, acute wounds and chronic wounds. Moving over to the GI tract, and what we do in Ilia Pharma is to work with treatment of active disease in experimental models of inflammatory bowel disease. So we developed a protocol where we allow the mice to become moderately sick before starting treatment. And then we show um, that we can revert disease progression with a treatment of uh, using ILP100. And also at the end of the study, we show less uh, fibrosis development measured as colon length seen here. And here the mechanism of action is uh, quite more complex, but also more interesting. And the key findings we have is that the effect is not amounted to one single immune cell subtypes, but rather a phenotype shift throughout different immune cell subtypes. And we're continuing this project and are also looking for a partner. We have a management team uh, with experience in cell and gene therapy. We have raised 17 million euros to date. We are the only SME that were fortunate enough to pass the bar to receive um, SME funding in uh, Horizon 2020 twice. We've done four seed rounds to date and next up is our Series A where we invite specialized biopharma and industrial partners to participate and accelerate these uh, programs together with us. So if you're interested and want to know more feel free to reach out uh, through any platforms and we're happy to continue the discussions.